After 48 years of American sovereignty, the people of the Philippines assume the status of an independent nation. The transfer is made on the 4th of July, a day full of significance for these Yanks. Huge crowds jam Manila to watch the birth of the Republic, which regains its independence through the voluntary action of the American people. In a message, President Truman assured our continued support. The new nation looks forward to prosperity. Exceedingly poor after Japanese occupation, the Philippines will receive reparations and free trade concessions from the United States. Manuel Rojas, newly elected to the presidency, takes the oath of office as Ambassador Paul McNutt looks on. An old Philippine resident, General Douglas MacArthur, arrives with a special message. Forty-eight years ago, the mantle of American sovereignty fell over this land and this people. It was the beneficent sovereignty of a liberator, pledged to be withdrawn as soon as the well-being of the people would safely permit. America never wavered in that purpose. America today redeems that pledge. This land and this people that I have known so long and loved so well.